It's never easy to talk about subjects that society shies away from. But the four directors in this category have not only done this, they've done it with integrity, insight, and sensitivity. They've taken on remarkable and difficult subjects and delivered shows which are innovative, challenging, and thought-provoking. Was he supposed to die that day? No comment. Because he's pissed off. Your brother-in-law, does that make him an enemy of yours? No comment. Alisa Pomeroy, 24 hours in police custody. No comment. He was a very, very lucky boy. A bullet nicked his femoral. How he didn't die, never know. He must have had everything looking down on him and praying for him that day. Would you have a consultation with me? Is that a consultation? Yes, please. Yeah. A consultation, please. Pause the interview. I'll defo come over to meet you. What time are you thinking of? Six. Please say yes, please say yes, please. Dan Reed, the paedophile hunter. Cool, please don't tell anyone, though. I'll defo come over. I'm 29, that OK? I won't tell anyone. I promise. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to tell the fucking world. You scumbag. You take out the first one and I'll take out the second two. Ben Anthony, life and death row I mean, execution. I, too good and plus I didn't want blood splattering all over me. I can remember Kenneth just saying, man, I'm ready to go home. Why don't y'all just let us go? This is just crazy. He had no clue what they were doing. Next thing I know, the gun went off. I hear Kenneth. They shot me. They got me. Oh my God, y'all hit me. You, you shot me. I'm not looking forward to this, no. <laughs> <laughs> Neil Crombie, Grayson Perry, who are you? Hi, Grayson. Hi. How are you doing? What's this? Was it the pot? Yes, this Fantastic. is my portrait of you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. That's absolutely brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. Really? Yeah, I always oh, said I wanted good. you to do a pot. <laughs> what have you got here? You're, what, what's, what about the gold? What's all that about? Uh, it's about vulnerability. And the BAFTA goes to Dan Reed for the paedophile hunter. Um, I just want to paraphrase someone who said earlier, you know, a uh, director is the tip of a very large iceberg. Well, I, I, I'm the tip of a very small iceberg, and three of the people in the iceberg are here today. There's my wonderful editor, Mark Towns. There's Chad Hobson, the amazing composer of the score, and of course, Matt Skilton, where are you, Matt? Um, thank you all very much, and to Tom Costello, my assistant producer, who worked on this very difficult film with me. Thank you very much indeed. Um, what was the starting point for researching a piece that you see is quite a disturbing film? In many ways. Yeah, there was a, and it's quite a long involved story because there was a newspaper piece in the Sun yeah. about a group that was also hunting paedophiles, you know. But it wasn't the guy ended up filming, but through that kind of little dogleg, we ended up finding uh, Stinson, and he was, you know, the, the, the originator of all this. So a long, very difficult relationship with him. He was the linchpin of the whole thing. You know? yeah, and he's quite a remarkable guy. I mean, you know, you kind of feel like he's, he looks like he should be the the bad guy in many ways, yeah. you know, in your mind, but actually he's kind of, yeah. I wanted the film know. to pull people between thinking, yeah. he's the problem, and thinking, no, he's the solution. Mm. And, uh, and I wanted people to be left at the end of it, not really knowing which way to, which way to jump. Yeah. So and I think it's a, it's a real, there's a real grey area there with the law, with, with, our, with our understanding of what, what paedophilia is now. And yeah. um, were you surprised by the, the media storm that it provoked? Because it kind of... Up, right? It did. It. it um, I mean, the whole. Uh, one of the. One of the nice things about doing a film like this is you can. You can feel that you're doing something quite concrete in your own country, yeah. doing some good. A lot of the stories I've done before are about terrible things that happened abroad, mm -hmm. and f for once I felt that this was an issue that, where I could make a difference yeah. here in the UK. Um, you know, I'm a dad. I've got three kids. Um, the stuff that I was seeing in the course of making this film just. I mean, shot me to the core, and I've seen a lot of really horrible things in my career. So, um, so yeah, I was I was really thrilled about being able to get people talking and highlight yeah. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and and I think you know sooner or later, people people are going to do something about it. People are going to change the law, and they're mm. going to the police. You know, has has so many different calls on its resources, but surely this is protecting children is one thing that yeah, you know, we need to be doing. Yeah. What is next for you? Well, um, I'm doing a film on money laundering, okay. which is a kind of complex uh, series yeah. of things, and uh, and also a film about high class prostitution, Amazing. which I've been making for about two years. Okay. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time with prostitutes. Um, How's that? Yeah, my wife is really keen on it. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I look forward to seeing it. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Congratulations. Yeah.